In this example, I'm going to show you how you can author your own rules to create PMI. The define command takes you into the logic editor task environment. This environment provides a uh, interactive diagramming interface that supports building and executing rules used to author and validate PMI. The first thing you notice when you go in is a node explorer. So this houses a library of nodes that are the building blocks for creating rules. So there are a number of rules here, or a number of nodes here to create rules. In this case, I'm going to use the create whole dimension node and drag it into the canvas area. So this is the diagramming interface. Below you see an active example of the model uh, in, this, uh, in this environment also. Um, in order to actually go out and find the holes, what I need is a find hole node to be able to build this rule. So I can go in and identify and look for uh, the node through the, um, through the tree. I can also do a search. So for instance, I could do a search for find hole and that would also locate this specific node for me. And I can just add it to this canvas area. I can dynamically drag it around the canvas area and uh, place it wherever I like. The nodes are, are made up of a number of input ports as well as output ports. And there are connections that can be made between the nodes to drive and create these rules. So in this case, what I've done here is I've added a find whole um, node on here that goes out and does a topological feature recognition to locate all the holes on this part. I then connected it to the create whole dimension to allow me to create BMI. Now, I can drag and drop uh, nodes from the Node Explorer directly into the canvas, or I can use the Create Inputs option here to automatically go out and find the appropriate nodes to be able to build this rule. And then I can go and make adjustments in here automatically. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an output node to represent the persistent PMI object that's created. And if I zoom in here on the active model, you can see that it actually shows me that PMI was created, a single PMI. And as we can see, there's um, it's ob obviously there's more uh, holes on here, different size holes on here. So what I can do is I can edit this rule to reflect that. So what I'll do is I'll remove this connector and I'll add a group by. And group by node will allow me to group the uh, like objects uh, together. So in this case, I'm going to group the holes into a list and I'll group them by the diameter. And when I do that and then connect this, this will go out and create all the individual PMIs based on the diameters. And you can see all of the individual PMI are created on all the individual holes. Okay, now that I'm done, I simply do a save as, I give it a name. In this case, uh, I'll call it hold dimension. And then I'll click on okay. I'll finish to exit out of here. And then I'm going to go to the reuse library and I'll just do a quick refresh. And I'll see there's the command that I just created. When I kick that off, this is my rule that I've created. And again, I can identify in the drop down menu the deviation or the grade, key that in, click on OK, and it will automatically go and create all the PMI that I just, uh, just indicated in that rule. Now, that PMI or that rule can be reused on any part. And, uh, and as I select the PMI, you can see the PMI also has all the associated geometry created. 